All right, guys, we're just getting fueled up here. We had we got a big day today. I think I'm almost done pumping. This ticket's gonna be a big one. I think that the tank was almost empty, but hey, at least diesel's 289. Back at home, it's three bucks. There we go. We're full, ready to head out. And today we we're going to rescue Garrett. It seems like we're always rescuing Garrett. He's always late, or something's going on with him. But he's actually uh, he's actually moving right now, and he's driving his mobile home to a new mobile home park. And I was out doing repos all day today. I actually, we actually made a lot of money today. I did two repos and I think I did a, a towing rescue. And this was the, I gotta do one more towing rescue before I'm done and it's gonna be Garrett. So he called me, he was, he was crying. He was like, Spencer, I'm stuck. And he, he didn't want me to save him and stuff. He took the wrong road. And then now I gotta come and, and save him. But he, this is gonna be big. He has a big mobile home. I think it's got like five or six axles on it to move it. They put it on that kind of trailer and he, he just went down an old dirty road. So we're gonna we're gonna go save him. Hopefully I don't get stuck. I think it's right up here on this tree line. All right, all right, we're pulling in and I'm, and I'm already getting muddy. I'm already sinking in. This isn't good. This is not good. The front end is sinking a lot more. I got a lot more weight in the front end there with the engine. There's Garrett. Garrett, I'm right behind you, man. I'm coming in. Perfect, perfect. I see you down there. Okay, I better, uh, you know what? I better I better get turned around here. Or what are we thinking? I, I probably should have called you before I pulled in. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I thought you were going to be coming from the other way. Oh, crap. Uh, you, you come at the back of my trailer, man. So, I don't know. What, what can that thing do? You know what? I think I got to pull out and come back the other way. It's going to it's gonna be a country mile till I get there. Okay. All right, that took about... That took about 30 minutes, and now we're in position, and we're going to get back to the gear. I got to drop my... There he is. You can see him in the mirror now. But it's uh, it's not easy getting back here. It's pretty sloppy. I'm actually... I was a little worried about getting getting stuck, but it seems like I'm in a lot of these situations. And old Black Betty, she gets right through it. All right, let's go ahead and drop our hook up here, and we'll... Hopefully, we can get him out of here. This is going to be a heavy, heavy rescue. There. And, of course, he's right in front of a huge mud pile. Huge mud hole. Okay, we're sinking in quite a bit there. There you go. There you go. Okay, wait. Stop there for a sec. Yep. Let me. Uh, All right. Okay. Yeah, you look. A look uh, you look a little. Room. A little wet, man. You're soaked. Man, I've been out here for so long. Like, I don't want to use all the fuel in the truck, or else we're gonna have a whole nother issue. Yeah, and you've got your rain jacket. That's funny. You're in your purple shirt still, and your jeans. Looks good. Yeah. But look at how far these tires are. I kept trying to move it, and. Oh yeah. Oh, I made yeah. it a lot worse. You're buried. You are. You're buried deep. Let's see how the trailer is. Okay. And this this thing's. Do you know how much this mobile home weighs? I'm not quite sure on the weight, but it's heavy. I had to get a special weighing for it, and it's it's bad, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got the oversized load. What what made you think you could go down this road, dude? Did the GPS tell you to do it? GPS told me to do it, and then I was thinking to myself, I was like, oh, I probably should take the main roads because you know it's raining and there's mud. But I just, I wanted a full send, you know? All right. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I got back here and I think you'll be able to make it out. I just got to give you a little push. You made it this far. I mean, what? Yeah. You went you went a mile down the road. I, I, I made it pretty good, but then the mud was just intense here. And now it's been raining for hours. So it's a lot worse. Yeah, I was going to say, it took me about an hour and a half to get out here by the time I was done with all my jobs and stuff. So dang, man. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I'll be honest. I, I didn't even call you right away. Like, I, I was waiting a little bit. I was so embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. You sounded pretty embarrassed on the phone. Dang, I'm, I already, I gotta, I just watched this thing the other day, Garrett. Oh, man. You're gonna get, you're gonna definitely have to watch that again. No, but, no, no. Oh. Say it again. I think you're gonna have to wash it. Oh, okay. You know what? If you can get me out of this, I'll wash your truck. All right. Fair enough. That? Fair enough. I, I won't send you the bill. How about that? All right. Sounds good. But don't get stuck, whatever you do. All right, let's go ahead, get underneath, talk to me. They look to be pretty good. Yeah, just about there. Lift all it. Right. I think that's okay. That's all we could do. If you want to get in the truck, make sure, uh, I guess you can get on her a little bit. All right, guys, we, we got hooked up. This is I think this is the best we're going to do. We got Garrett lifted up here. We got him strapped and, uh, and lift him. I'm on the front axle, so I think we should be good. Garrett, how does it feel up there? No, it feels like I'm at quite a bit of an angle, but your truck's lifting this well. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I think I'm staying on top of the mud. Hopefully, I have super, super aggressive all-terrain tires on on the front and the rear, so that, that should help. And, Garrett, I think just get in there. Maybe don't hammer it this time. Just nice and easy. Once we get you out of this rut, I think we should be good. Okay, but, man, there's one thing we got to keep an eye on, okay? Yep. Back here, since this is obviously attached to the back hitch and not to the gooseneck yeah it, it, it's pretty close to the ground so true 
you got to watch the angle. If this thing starts to drag through the mud, we're going to get really wedged in. It's going to be like dropping the anchor on a boat. Yeah, you're totally right. I guess I didn't think about that. Yeah, it would have been nice if that was uh, a fifth wheel mount there, but can't win them yeah. all. No, you cannot. So we'll just do the best with what we can, but we have lots of straps down. I, th I think we'll be good. Well, if we're still moving and that's dragging, we're, we're just going to full send it, all right? All right. Sounds good to me, man. Here we go. You ready? Yep. Starting up the truck now. Perfect. This is going to be Here exciting, guys. If you enjoyed these types of videos, I like making them because we put some crazy mods to the test. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe. If you haven't already, you would really appreciate it. And uh, here we go, Garrett. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Hammer it. Here we go. Ooh. Kick the tires, light the fires. We're moving. Oh, this is working well. We're oh, you're you're sinking though a little, man. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm I can't really steer too much, but it's going. Okay, tr try not to take out all these crops though. You gotta. There you oh, go. There you okay, go. yeah, we are smoking the right side a little bit. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Yep, that is true. Come on, keep going, keep going. Yeah, we got a we got a long ways to go, and it's it's really hard to steer. We're sinking in deep. Oh, oh I can feel something dragging a little. It looks come to on, be good come though. On. Are you still on the? You still on the gas? Oh, I'm still pushing. Just a bit though. I'm, I'm not trying to get it buried. All right, I'm slow. I'm slowing down here. It's getting tough. Oh no! Come on, man. Keep going. Keep it's not going. Looking good. It's not. I'm getting so muddy though. I think we're almost there. We got a little bit ways to go, and then. You still all have to drive into town, don't you? I do. This is going to be crazy. But hey, as long as I don't get this truck damaged through this little towing job, then I should be good to yeah, do. Yeah, I wonder if we, we're we going to have to make sure there's no, you know, mud just locked up in places. It shouldn't be in the hubs or anything. Here's some wet spots up ahead. Oh, geez. Okay. Go nice and easy. Keep an eye on every low hanging part. Seems to be good, though, so far. Yep, we're moving. There we are. Good work. Good work. You're a lifesaver, man. Yeah, we're, we should, uh, well, this rain would quit and you could, we could just go straight to the car wash. That would be nice. You can wash down the house and edit. This thing got pretty muddy. Yeah, wash down the house. That's funny. Pull her All in, right. pull her in through the car wash. All right, uh, we got to go right. There's no way we're yeah. going to make that, uh. Yeah, no, that pulls there. Just knock out the crops. I'll cover whatever it costs. We're going to hit a fence, though. Oh, this, Okay. Taking out a lot of crops. Yeah, we're taking a lot more than I thought, but you can't. You gotta do what you gotta do. Farmers won't be happy, but there we go. They don't want us stuck there either, though. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Those are their main roads, and we should. Yeah. Uh, I should probably Watch put my pole. hazards on. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I got my hazards on, so people behind us are all good. All right, looks good. We're filthy, but we made it. That was probably a, that was one of our crazy ones, crazy rescues. Man, I can't believe how good your truck did with this like i think it's the tires they're literally huge lugs on there all terrain or i think all month yeah you compare that to my tires you kind of see why i got yeah, stuck yeah those are uh those were going down pavement that's why we don't turn down those uh class b roads that's true but hey sometimes you just gotta test the limits that's for sure let's go ahead i'll drop you down here get you lowered yep get me fully on the ground though there we are bit lower there you go looks good perfect perfect all right let, wait let, before you go though let me let me give this back to you yep for sure thank you thank you i will uh i'll see you yeah there you go perfect yeah put it up there okay one sec it's like under my truck there we are yeah they're kind of heavy be careful could be wet yeah oh it's it's soaked and it's covered in mud there you go Nice, nice. Got it attached here. Well, Garrett, when you get back to the shop, you'll have to uh, I'll have the power washer ready for you. Yeah, I'll be cleaning down my truck too, so don't worry about that. That was a, that was a good one. I'm one. I can uh, let's go. I'll I'll guide you back in. I I think I know exactly where you're going. I think right where I filled up is your mobile home site. Yes, it is. You're okay. right. Well, I can I'll, always... uh, I'll drive. Yeah. It's on my way back. All right, Garrett. Big turn there. Oh, there comes the car. Oh, you totally cut him off, dude. Okay, you're gonna smoke that stop sign. You missed oh. the you missed the electrical transformer though. That's always good. Did the best I could. There's a pole on the other side. All right, so I think it's just on the back end of town here. It should be just straight and then to the right. Yep, this area is definitely familiar. Honestly, though, I've not been here much, so you might know it better than I do. Is this it right here? 
Uh, yes, it is. Yep. There we go. Look so that. this is uh, how many? How many? They're only gonna be able to fit like what three, four, or six probably? Yeah, at most. There we go. Oh, I should have taken this a little bit wider. Come on, look at all those tires I got on this trailer. This yeah, is insane. Yeah, you have five axles. That's a lot of weight. I'm sure those each are 10,000 pound axles. Maybe oh, more. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this thing's hefty, but wanted to make sure it was able to hold up. You do, know, know, what the house do you know what spot into. you're going into? Uh, I think I'm backing up in, you see like the corner kind of right behind me? Yep. Yeah, the so I'm going to be front. backing up there. Nice, nice. Yeah, that should be good. Close to the road. All right, well, Garrett's getting that parked. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please smash the like button. Like I said, these are fun making. Garrett and I actually, uh, to get Farm Sim to rain, Garrett was saying this, that uh, it, it took us about 30 minutes for us to get this rain to come into the game. So that was, uh, if you guys ever struggled to make it rain in the game, I, how, do you, how do you fix it? I don't know. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.